already. That will be awesome. All right. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Welcome to our Friday Blab. It's kind of um, a one-off, uh, a special Blab because I'm, I'm super, super excited to talk to Catherine Lowe. Um, so a quick rundown before I bring her in. Um, Catherine Lowe is a new coloring book author who has just had incredible unprecedented success with her coloring book. Um, it's just been absolutely amazing. If you look right now, she is ranking at number 17 in books on Amazon. That's not a subcategory. That's not like sort of books, coloring books, like meditation books. No, this is in books on Amazon. She is at number 17 in books. Um, and she is number three in adult coloring books. She is beating Joanna Basford in your face. Joanna, no, I love Joanna Basford. Her books are beautiful. But this is just absolutely amazing. So um, this is her book. It's called Calm the <clears throat> Down. And it's an irreverent adult coloring book. And I'm going to bring Catherine, aka Sasha O'Hara on now um, to talk all about it. Hi. Hello, Catherine. Hi. Yay, I'm, there you are. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to have you on. I'm just, I, I was just checking the, the rank on your book and I can't believe it. It just keeps getting better and better. Like, wow. I didn't know it was at 17. That's amazing. It's at number 17 and number three in adult coloring books. That's awesome. And I love the way best for I know, she's amazing. I feel bad now for dissing Joanna, but seriously, you're beating Joanna Basford. Yeah, I know, I know. I and Doctor Who. What? And Doctor Who, you're beating Doctor Who. Who? Oh. <laughs> I'm so Look excited. Happen. I'm sorry. Welcome. I echo. Oh, I hope it's okay. not showing up on I'm I'm checking my chat over here. I have my chat on another screen here, so okay. I'm, I'm kind of looking over there. Um, but can everybody hear Catherine? Okay. Hello, hello. Can they hear me? I think so. I I can hear you yeah. absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, good. Yes, yes, yes. I see lots of I yeses. Can see the, the chat over here. I'm gonna try not to look at it because it'll be distracting. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, my chat totally disappeared on my oh. computer. So I'm, Isaac logged in for me and I'm looking at his computer, which I okay. can see the chat on. So we've got that. So, um, Catherine, is it really you? You are Sasha yes. O'Hara. I am. I am uh, I'm, Sasha O'Hara. And um, I, I came up with that name. It was one summer. I was thinking, sorry, I've got that echo. I apologize. Um, I was, uh, I came up with this name, Sassy O'Hara, and then um, I decided just to name it Sasha O'Hara and it just stuck. And I thought that would be perfect for this book. It's a perfect name. It's kind of edgy. Like, mm -hmm. I thought she's a feisty lady. I, I, yes. I, I like Sasha O'Hara. I thought that was really cool. So, Sasha is feisty. How did you get into it? I know you're, um, you're a therapist, is that right? Like, I, I'm a um, I help people with pain and stress. So I do massage therapy and neural reset therapy and get people out of pain. Um, so I'm in private practice doing that. And um, I have a background in art, many different kinds of art. And so, you know, this summer you came up with your uh, coloring book course. And at the time I was so busy and I was like, I don't have time to do this. And yet I did it. And that night I listened to all of it and I started working on my coloring book. I did it for at least a week. <laughs> and so um, how, how long did it take you to, to make this book? How long did it take book, you to put it together from when you started working on it? Um, well, I'll qualify it by saying this was not my first book. Um, so I did do a couple other books that friends and family bought. <laughs> um, so let's see, this book, I don't know exactly, probably two months. Um, the holidays were in there, but my poor dear spouse saw very little of me <laughs> when I was making it. That's pretty amazing though, two months. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was a little bit badly obsessed now. <laughs> Do you feel bad? Like my my friend just commented on on my Facebook post about this blab, and he's like a professor um, mm -hmm. at, at a big university in Chicago, and he's just like written this book, and I think it's taken him like years and years. And he said, mm -hmm. "Yeah, well, I've just broken a hundred thousand with my book. Don't you feel bad about this, Cafe? <laughs> you know what? I have I have books that I've written or published that are like three hundred and fifty thousand or higher so i do and i don't because i totally get it <laughs> I'm, I'm joking i'm joking yeah, no, no. <laughs> it's okay. i I'm, i mean i'm absolutely amazed like has, has this made a big difference to your life like is, has ellen phoned you yet oh my god <laughs> no she hasn't but you know it's funny because i haven't had this experience and when it first hit bestseller in my category I was like, what happens? Does Amazon call me? I don't know. What happens now? <laughs> it's it's pretty amazing. Has anything happened? Has there been like a big, Has have you had any like media or anyone calling Here are my you yet? Yeah. Yay! It's an exclusive. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. <laughs> It's, so I, I'm I'm absolutely stunned. I think it's it, it's incredible. Like when when we started doing the coloring book course, I mean people have had success. People, I mean like mm -hmm. Jordan's done well with his. Uh, he did Night of the Living Dead. We've had yeah. quite a few people have some success. But then when you told me you were in the top hundred, and then I've just I've been watching it just climb and climb and climb, and then yeah. I saw you in the top twenty. I was just like, no, no way. You yeah. just like. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. What, what did you do? Was, was, did you do something special with like marketing? I don't want to give you, you to give away like all your secrets. I mean, I kind of do, but don't give away all your secrets. Fair enough. Did you do anything special with your marketing to get like such a crazy rank? Or was it just organic? Did people just start buying it? Um, I think so. I, I think it's mostly organic. Um, so I'll tell you everything I know that I did that could be repeated. Um, wow, okay. Um, so first I asked people what they want. Um, so I went to a lot of Facebook groups and I said, what do you want in a coloring book? And um, a lot of people responded. So I got a lot of ideas. And there were a couple people who had an idea that um, matched with something that I really wanted to do. So I just latched on to that. And so I think asking your audience what they want is key. And then working with keywords is key. And so one of the things I did was um, for keywords, I used other some Like I used for Garden. Um, there's a couple other books that I thought had a similar audience. So I put those as part of my keywords. And so that they would be kind of matched up with that book. Um, so those were the only things I did, and I think some of it was just luck and timing. And um, I found out Catherine, the other day. Can you I just can't... say that bit again? I kind of lost you. I couldn't mm. when when you mentioned keywords. I kind of lost you in in the audio. Um, can you just mention that again? I heard you say you looked at other people's books and you saw mm -hmm. like what keywords were working for them. Could could you just repeat that bit? Just because sure. I kind of lost it in the audio. Um, so I looked at other books in categories that would um, really appeal to a similar audience, and I used book title as one of my key. Yeah, and <laughs> um, I did find out that I cannot advertise my book on Facebook because I was going to oh. add the test, but because of the title, I can't. And that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So that actually was kind of a really big hurdle that you can't actually put the no. name of the title on <laughs> Facebook. Yeah. So I mean, it, 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 in a way it's good because this is all organic. And I guess it just went viral. So I feel very lucky. I think luck is a piece of this equation. Um, I think you did a lot of networking as well. I think, I mean, like, I, I know as soon as I saw this book, I wanted to, like, post it everywhere and share it. And I'm sure in, in other groups, I know in the Coloring Mastermind, people were sharing it and pinning it. And I'm sure, like, in, in Facebook groups, I, I, I feel like this is the kind of thing that you see it and you want to tell your friends. Like, I, I, I mean, some of the pictures as well, like, it's, can I, are you okay with me showing the pictures? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Like, I, I mean, I think, so, excuse the, the sweary word, but I mean, I think this is hilarious. Like you have like this beautiful sort of fairy and then it has like sweary things. And there was, oh my gosh, this one cracked me up. The, I, I believe the children are our future. <laughs> that terrifies me. Like, I, I think you just did such With amazing... the past, my friends were saying. <laughs> Yeah, and, and this is the kind of thing that just goes so viral because, um, I mean, people see it and they want to tell their friends. Like, if, if they laugh at something, they, and, mm -hmm. and I think that's what's so amazing about this is the sense of humour. Like, it's so funny that you just want to share the joke with people. I'm, I'm a big fan of irony. And so, yes. you know, some of those pictures in there, I, I love them because they are ironic. Have, have you had any international success with this yet? Because I feel like in England, this is like mm -hmm. full on British humor right here. Yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, totally. Um, so right now it's printed on Facebook. And so there have been people in Europe and Great Britain who have purchased the book. And I am debating uh, doing a Kindle version so it can be international. And there's pros and cons to that. So I'm a little on the fence about it. I, yeah, I think it's a good idea. I think, um, yeah. I, I don't know, the Kindle thing. Um, I, I've seen people doing Kindle coloring books, and I guess mm -hmm. they can print them out. So mm -hmm. I, I, I guess it's kind of a way of, of selling it quickly internationally without the physical product. But I think what's cool about this is it's like a gift. It makes such a great gift for mm -hmm. people. And I see people, I think Sandy just there said, um, my daughter loves your book. Like people are all buying it for their daughter, right. for, the, for their sister, their friend. Yeah, yeah, you're still, yeah, you're still there. I, I, you're, you're slowing down a little bit. I, I'm, oh. but you're still there. We've, we, we've got you. Um, so I, I've got another question. Since mm -hmm. I saw this book, I've seen like other people doing lots of swearing coloring books. Mm -hmm. Did you? Do you think you started a trend here? Is this a new thing of of swearing coloring books? You know, I think if you look at the date that we all published our books, it was all within about two weeks of each other. The initial ones um and so i think we all just read it at the same time and it, so it, yeah it's like a zeitgeist yeah yeah and and i have been in touch with some of those authors and some of the story book authors are some of the nicest people you'll ever meet <laughs> oh yeah so where where do you think you're going next with this? Do you kind of have a plan for it, or is it just you're, you're just enjoying this, or like where, where do you see the future going? Is it another book, or is it yeah. um, sort of publicizing this more, doing more with this, um, or is it another project? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm enjoying this very much, and I'm almost done with my second book, and yeah, and then I have a third book after that and I have some product ideas in mind and so I'm excited for uh, what you do course um, because I, I know how many do that and I don't know we'll go from there I think that'll keep me busy for a few months that's so exciting yeah I, I I'm I, I mean I'm over the moon for you I, I'm really just I, I I've been following your rank and just Aww. been so excited for you every time I see it I'm like Wow, this this is amazing. Um, do you think the coloring book thing is going to? And 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 I want to go back to what you said about um, how you were using therapy and you've been helping people manage pain. And um, is has coloring been a big big part of that? And do you see coloring going on in the future, or mm -hmm. do you think this is kind of a faddy thing? Because I get asked that a lot. Like, okay, a, a coloring book's over now. Is this the end, or is this something that's going to continue? Yeah, well, you know, I work on the same thing. I, I have a couple thoughts about it. Um, some of the feedback I've gotten about this coloring book and the ones I've had before are amazing. You know, people going through chemotherapy are using coloring to help them get through it. Um, some of my great aunts and uncles are in nursing homes and they're coloring to, and forming clubs. And, um, and people are, you know, on this book, somebody told me they're using it to help them quit smoking. Um, so people are using it now. It's uh, really touching. Um, that sounds like a niche, actually. That's that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Like a, a quit smoking. I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> <laughs> I 
do think as an aside, I'll get back to the, the cover expansion thing, but I think um, if you want to do a coloring book, you, there's a lot of niches out there that maybe I'm not aware of yet. Like my, I guess one of my aunts, I think she's a part of a iris, you know, like the father, I think it was an iris society. And so somebody could do an iris coloring book and oh, yeah. you know, work with gloves. Um, so if somebody that's that, go for it, run with it, you know. Um, but that's interesting you mention um like cancer and chemotherapy mm -hmm. I, I mean i can see this um being absolutely used as a very um specific um like visualization and mm -hmm. healing method like yeah. i know like with kids they sort of do this visualization with like red blood cells white blood cells yeah. i can totally see like using coloring books as um like a, a, a visualization of that, mm -hmm. a sort of a physical visualization of that. I mean, mm -hmm. that's, that's really interesting. Yeah, in fact, I have to put a plug in for one of my personal favorite coloring books. Um, this one, it's probably backward on your screen, but I love her book and it's very positive. And um, <laughs> so if you're, you're wanting to get a positive frame of mind, that's a good one. Oh, but I that's, think, that's so cool. Oh, sorry. No, um, I, I I love the I love the um like I feel there's a lot of camaraderie with um coloring book authors and mm -hmm. um, I mean you 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 kind of have a network of friends doing this and I love that you you're like you're so generous about it and willing to um like say hey this is my friend's book check this out I yeah. I, I think that's so wonderful yeah I don't know her personally but I love her work and. Yeah, the authors who I've met on Facebook and stuff are wonderful, really nice people. Yeah, and, and about the bigger trend of coloring books, you know, I, I was just reading an article and they said that it's not going anywhere anytime soon. That it's probably going to be for a while. So That's we'll what see. I think. I think it's, it's, it's one of those things that it's going to have a big spike right now, but I think mm -hmm. it's going to carry on. It's like people still do crosswords, people still do Sudokus. Like these yeah. things don't just disappear. They'll, once, once the trends really kicked in, and I, I mean, I go in Barnes and Noble at the moment and I see Doctor Who, I see Harry mm -hmm. Potter. There's like two Harry Potter coloring books. Mm -hmm. There's like Marvel, like all the big names are jumping on it. And you know they're not going to do that unless there's big, big scope in doing yeah. that. Yeah, and it's such a great hobby because it's relaxing, lets you focus, you can find whatever you're interested in, and it's economical. You know, it's. I mean, I know there's some really expensive pencils you can buy and things, but um, it's a, a affordable hobby. Yeah. Do you, Do you think um, there's because I, I'm kind of asking you this in like a professional opinion. Do you think like the, the, the physical feeling of like getting a pencil and coloring is um, a healing thing? Like is it all psychological or is there like a physiological um, element to it? I'm kind of curious about this. I think it's kind of an interesting be. thing. Because, you know, every color has its own effect on our psychology and, you know, writing has an effect on our psychology. I must confess that I like making coloring books more than I like coloring. Because <laughs> my hands cramp when I you too. <laughs> I, oh, I tried to color the secret garden. And oh. seriously, I got the secret garden and the enchanted forest and I got both books and I've colored like a little space <laughs> about that big. And then I'm like, okay, I can't be bothered anymore. <laughs> Just like ADHD out the wazoo. <laughs> I totally agree. I think her <laughs> books are beautiful, but I can't tell her that. <laughs> yeah, it's like you want to, but but I, yeah. I don't know. I, I, who do you think the biggest market is for coloring books? Do you think people buy them for themselves and there's like addicts mm -hmm. and people who really want? Because I've seen some people on Facebook who have like these shelves and shelves of books. Mm -hmm. Or do you think it's more of kind of a gift thing? Or, or like who do you see being the big audience for coloring books? That's a good question. I've been trying to figure that out, you know, researching on Facebook and stuff. Uh, definitely, I see pictures of people's piles and piles of coloring books. Um, but a lot of the feedback I'm getting on reviews are that they bought them to gift. So I think it's primarily women, probably between teens all the way to mid 70s, maybe. So it's a yeah. really wide demographic. 
which is great as a coloring book creator, you know, because you can really find someone who like what you do. Do, do you have any uh, any more ideas for sort of books or publishing? Do you want to get into doing, um, do you want to stick with coloring books or are you thinking of doing maybe like, I don't know, traditional books or scrapbooks or journals or like anything else or is it just coloring books? I, I do have a couple ideas. Uh, journal is one idea. I'm really interested in doing a Sasha O'Hara's Guide to Life, sort of a self help of fast. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I actually, uh, me and my husband have written a meditation book and a self-help book and been in the personal development uh, arena for 30 years and love that. And I'd love to bring my own sassy voice to it. I think it'd be fun. I love that. That that's so cool. You know, that there was like something I've learned um with a lot of like performance and art is have a strong point of view. And I feel like with like Sasha, you have this very <laughs> strong in your face point of view. And it's it, it's it's wonderful to see that. Um and I, I think the other thing I was what was I gonna say? I, I had a question for you. Um hmm. I, I I think um people don't want to take things too seriously like when people are already feeling sick or depressed yeah. they don't necessarily want um everything to be super taking themselves seriously yeah. and do you think like humor kind of helps take like lighten the mood take people out of um their, their sadness yeah i do and i think and not into getting into politics too much or anything right now but you know at the time that we're talking the elections are starting and um, people are upset, and there's a lot going on, and so I think humor lightens the mood a bit. I'm a big fan of humor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. And I, th I think it's it's always um, kind of an escape when things are getting really stressful and heated. Like the person who can come in and just say something funny and witty and kind of poke it with a stick mm -hmm. is it's like the person who kind of wins the situation. So I, I and I think you've just done an amazing job with this. I thank uh, you. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> been a fan favorite. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you have a favorite picture? Do you is there one of is there a picture in this that's like your favorite or do you just you're, um, you're... Yeah, actually my favorite one is one that says Matt because it's so ironic because it's such a hard picture to color. <laughs> <laughs> That's my personal favorite. <laughs> That's genius. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think of it like that. That's so funny. You're just coloring this picture and spending hours doing it. And it just is And you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, have, I have one for you from my second book. Um, I'm just getting it here from the desk. I don't know if you can see it. This is for you, Catherine. Oh, you'll have to hold it up a while because you're freezing a little bit. But if oh, you hold I... it up for a while, I can probably see it. Oh, there it is. What does it say? You can sleep when Coffee. you're... You can sleep when you die. Yeah, that's my picture. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> my second book has a couple references to coffee and you'll like it. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I'm, uh, I'll, I will be first in line to buy that when it comes out. Do you know when it's coming out, your second book? Um, I don't have an exact date. It'll be in a couple weeks. Yeah, probably end of February, beginning of March. Um, there's Melinda's asking a question, but I don't know if you want to answer it. She's saying, and I, so many people have, met, have asked this, but this is kind of one of those questions that you may want to dodge the question. But it's how about um, I, I'm so curious to know how many sales a day or week when you hit a bestseller like this? Is that like the big secret question? Uh, I know. Well, I'll tell you it changes because even if my rank is like 41. Sometimes I have more sales than when it's 20. And so I figure, I know, I was surprised by that. It must be the overall sales on Amazon that day. Um, I mean, it's, it's a lot, yeah. And I, I've got a question on it. Do, when um, you are you using other channels? Because I know you. I know you published with Create Space. Mm -hmm. Is that right? You used Amazon's Create Space service to publish. Um, do you use all the other channels? Like I know they have a service where it goes out to bookstores and mm -hmm. um, and libraries. D 
do you use that service and have you like do you have any idea what impact that has on your sales um yeah i, I am signed up for that option and I've been um kind of looking to see if it's being purchased by third-party buyers yet um i've had some people contact me directly wanting to carry it in their shop um so i don't know if they don't have access to ingram or or how that works um but i haven't seen third-party sales yet um there's a book here i mean a store here in portland called powell's and it's phenomenal if you ever visit Powell city of books it's amazing um, i'm trying to get in there but i'm contacting them directly myself <clears throat> that's cool so is is that kind of expansion you're going into bricks and mortar stores as well like you think so. yeah I, I really want to support independent bookstores as much as possible i mean i know i sell on amazon but um i really want small business owners to make it too you know i want them to benefit yeah, this is something I talked to Jordan about because he, he did his um, horror book. He did the Night of the Living Dead. And I know like a big part of his business model has been working with small um, like horror and comic, comic book stores. Um, and I, I, I love the, that kind of overlap of taking care of small business owners and working with them. And I, I think that's great promotion as well for you when people walk into a nice store and they see that book. I think that that's like that seems like a really good win-win situation. Yeah. And my, my website right now is only two pages. But as I pulled it out, I want to have a page that lists the stores that carry it so that they get more exposure too. I, I kind of lost you there. Could you say that again? I'm sorry. I'm having like audio issues. Yeah, sorry. I somebody asked me to put in headphones so they could hear me better, and my headphones aren't working with my laptop, so I apologize. Um, it's okay. I can I can hear you. I'm just like that. I lost that little bit. So. Okay. Um, I don't remember what I said. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Um, does anyone else have, I'm just having a quick look there and um, looking at the chat down the side. Does anyone have any um, other questions that they would like to ask Catherine? This has been, um, oh, Cordelia says, do you draw by hand or like what's, what's your technique for art? Hmm. Um, I'm actually starting to hire uh, artists that I know to do um, the work. So I've done, um, I've actually invested quite a bit in licensing. And so I have my hand in every piece of art um, and I do collage and now I'm working with artists directly. So it's kind of a lot of, uh, you, 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 you're using outsourcing and, um, and hiring artists. And I, yeah. you know, I think it kind of works because you've got like a, a mix of styles in here, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice actually. It, it gives you a sort of um, different options for, for what yeah. to color. Yeah, it's something that I like in a book, and so I wanted to do that. We, what I found with um, the coloring books, because <clears throat> we've been we've been working with the coloring mastermind and people mm -hmm. doing different books, and what I found is that everyone's kind of found their own style. Some people mm -hmm. um, are using tracer with like in in the course I just show how to use photographs. But what I found is that people have like taken the course and then they've all found their own method. Some people are outsourcing. Mm -hmm. Some are using um, Illustrator and tracing. Some people yeah. are doing by hand. Some people are doing mandalas. Like it's kind of um, interesting to see how many different styles and different ways you can get the artwork. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a fun creative outlet. I, I feel like the big skill, I, and and I think this is where we maybe have a different approach. I know there's a lot of coloring book groups and a lot of people doing coloring books, and a lot of them are focused on the artwork. Um, mm. We've kind of gone with marketing as kind of being the, the thing. Like, there's a lot of different ways of getting the artwork together, but um, mm. marketing seems to be very um, important. Mm. Oh, you're nice and clear now. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good. Yay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I, I'm. Uh, are there any more questions? I'm just having a look. Um, Jordan's saying uh, Google Trends. Um, you joined groups on Facebook. I'm just reading through to see if there's questions. Mm. Um, Hi Jordan, we chatted on Facebook just a little bit, yeah. And I love seeing the creativity as well. I'm I'm kind of excited to see where it goes with colouring. I know people have talked about doing um, cards and calendars and um, 
like do you have any plans to do any sort of kits or any any further things with your coloring pictures um maybe i'm not sure yet right now i'm, I'm on the, the top of the books but um, there is a world of possibilities i mean it's just amazing you know and i think you've got your name out there now i mean yeah. like once you've got a top 20 book i mean you're beating like harry potter and 50 shades and i like, know isn't that amazing <laughs> <laughs> it's it's i think it's awesome i'm I, i'm just so excited for you Catherine. thank, thank you. you thank yeah. you so much for coming on and and joining me and and being so like nice about sharing what you've oh, done yeah. well i have to just take a moment to acknowledge you Catherine. i'm so delighted to be here i've taken all your classes and um i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and i love the community that you create and the opportunity to create and we just thank you so much you and I will. big hug big hug <laughs> thank you so much kathy all you. right well have a lovely week it's been really awesome to talk to you yeah bye thank you so much bye. oh whoa how awesome was Catherine lowe everybody um that's sasha o'hara you can find her book right now. Um, it's on Amazon. It's ranked number 17 in bestsellers. It's ranked number three in coloring books, adult coloring books. And she is absolutely killing it with this. Um, do also give her Facebook page a like. Um, I posted the link further up. If you're interested in making coloring books yourself, uh, check out academy.blueskysuite.com. Um, we do have a little coloring mastermind. Catherine's part of that. Um, and we've got a lot of fun things going on with coloring books there. Um, and guys, next week, Isaac and I are working on a very, very big announcement. Blue Sky Create is coming. Um, so hold on to your seats. It's going to be really big. Um, the word mega course comes to mind. Um, and we're hoping to see you all with that. Um, so, oh, oh, and if you want to um, sign up for the mailing list, I'm going to type it here. Um, go to blueskysuite.com and sign up for our mailing list uh, because we do have big news coming. Um, and have a great week, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Big, big thanks to Catherine. Big congratulations to her. What an amazing, kind, awesome lady she is. You've all been awesome. Have a great week. Have a great weekend.